Swords dance up. It's time. It's time. It's time. Goodbye, Buzzle. <laughs> Goodbye. Yes. We did it. We actually did it. What's poppin' everyone? Back for a nice and chill short on live for you all today. Gonna be using Sand Slash. Everyone uses Exodrill on Sand Teams, but Sand Slash can do some really fun stuff too. And I'll be showing you the true power of this Pokemon. Also, really glad you all enjoyed Hoenn to the Top. It was a very fun series to make, and we'll hopefully be planning Sinnoh to the Top in the near future. So stay tuned for that. And shout out to everyone that left a super thanks on the last video. Really an optional thing to do, but always makes me smile every time I see it, and helps more than you know. Now before we get into it, I'd like for us to leave a comment and tell me a Pokemon set that specifically beats a counter that it faces. Or just comment to support, I want to hear from you all as always, but I asked this question because, look, I have here a Sand Slash that beats a common counter in Buzzwool. Buzzwool easily beats like, you know, Excadrill and Sand Slash and stuff like that, but Aerial Ace is a nice little move on this thing with plus two after Swords Dance and Life Orb in the sand. We'll be able to Oko, I think, most Buzzwool sets. I don't know if it'll Oko like max HP, max defense, but... We also have the benefit of not being weak to fighting, so Drill could run the same set in theory. However, um, you know, because it's being weak to fighting, if Buzzle somehow lives, it'll knock it out back in return. However, Sand Slash, good defense stat, not weak to fighting, and also not weak to ground either. So that's also, that's also pretty good because you can actually use this thing to, um, I guess, also kind of check Lando, Lando T. Because plus two Swords Dance, Stone Edge, maybe if it's plus one, it could still do a lot. A lot of Lenders run Spadef, so could be pretty useful. But I wanted to run it because I think it's more unique. I was contemplating running um, Sand Slash and Drill both on the same team, but uh, Draco's Ult giving it another um, different Sand Rush user. A lot of diversity as well, because uh, Draco's Ult destroys bulky waters. Could be really useful for Sand Slash to eliminate something like Slowbro, for example, um, so that it can have an easier time at plus two, knocking things out one by one. Um, they pour it out here for the Water Absorb. It's really good for Volcanion. Steam Eruption and other kinds of Mons, and of course Wish Protect to kind of heal the team up and Toxic things is really good. Nice little Chinese EV spread here. I made this a long time ago. I forgot what it's for, but I know this is a jump point. I know it hits 200, so <laughs> it's great. Trust me, trust me. When have I ever let you down? Never. Um, Tyranitar with the uh, Stealth Rocks and the, the Smooth Rock to extend the turns of Sand, and that's also great because we have two Sand Rush users, so we want to maximize those turns. Um, Tapu Lele for Choice Scarf, just outrunning things like Dragapult, Weavile, etc. And then finally, Corviknight for the nice Defog support. Shed Shell to be not trapped by Magnezone, because I find that to be very annoying when it happens. So we got the Mons to deal with it. And um, yeah, it's going to be the team. So we've been in National Index for quite some time now for the uh, Ho into the Top series. So getting back into OU for a little bit. I'm sure before we uh, do Sinnoh to the Top again. And getting back into National Index. So um, let's just hop right into it and see how we do. Hopefully uh, get some good games and uh, put in the finest of work. Would be nice. Would be quite nice. I am recording this uh, quite late at night as well, so... Um, it'd be... Uh, it'd be interesting if we got some games quickly, but... I think because Ho into the Top, we did National Index. Now uh, Joey's doing another series with National Index. Maybe everybody's playing that right now, but... Okay, we got a game, so... We have here... Uh, a team that I think Sand Slash could do a lot of work. I don't know if this is Choice Scarf or not, but it kind of seems to be Choice Scarf. I'm probably just going to lead Tapu Lele. As Landris is the lead. Don't know if I want to get knocked off here, so I'm going to go into... Could go Corviknight here, but if I get knocked off here, then I get trapped. So my play should be probably to just Psychic this immediately. Could also Moonblast, but Psychic's kind of powerful. Look at that, 47. He just Earthquakes. Okay, cool. Let's go Corviknight here. So because it's like, or because they Earthquake first and not Knockoff, I think they probably don't have Knockoff. Because that would have been the best move to go for. They tried Earthquake again. Okay, cool. I mean, weakening this would have been great too, but um, that's fine. And now we can Defog here. And then they think we are trapped. However, we are not. <laughs> we are not trapped. Probably Stone Edge here is the play. Could also uh, Swords Dance up, which could be another play, but I think I'll Stone Edge here. Hit that Tapu Fini slot for 29%. Not bad at all. 
What I want to do here is, I believe, go into Vaporeon. They are they do seem to be leftovers. So here's what we do, right? We go Vaporeon first, they calm mind. They're probably gonna taunt here. So knowing that they are this set means that I think Drake result should be faster. So I'm going to go hard into it. Nice. Nice. Goodbye, Tapu Fini. Farewell. <laughs> Not bad. So this lander should be max Spadef without much speed. They go Weavile here. Ooh, Weavile. So they're definitely going to knock off, right? In which case, I think we just go Vaporeon. So this force ends up here. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so that means the Tapu Lele can revenge. What I want to do is just probably sack this Mon. Uh, maybe it's better. To, it, it could be better to Toxic here, potentially, but... Hmm. I think I'll Scald anyways for a potential burn. Could be nice. Um, okay, so now what we do is... We can... We could go T-Tar here. As they knock off. So my logic behind that was to get sand up. I'm just gonna sack something anyways, right? If I get sand up, it's just better overall. And so now the play would be to probably just sack this. I could keep Vaporeon. Oh wow. Well double hacks on both parts, so I, I'm fine with missing, I guess. Even though uh it's not really ideal. All right, so my play now would be to probably go Tapu Lele to block the Ice Shard. Just Moonblast here, and then I could now just go into Corviknight, I guess, could work, or... Let's go Hard Dra let's go Hard Dracozolt, Hard Dracozolt. Just make an aggressive play right here, for no reason. Yeah, there we go, nice aggressive play. Good job of Draco on this thing, probably will knock it out, because we are Life Orb. And they go Magnezone, so let me just Fire Blast this. Do a lot of damage. It'll hit the lander slot as well. If they, in case they're trying to double. I lose my sand though, but it's okay. That does a lot. So they Magnet Rise, and um... They're gonna Magnet Rise into the heavens now when I hit this next move. <laughs> rise into the heavens. Oh, Magnezone. Ah, a dodge. And I don't even think this knocks it out, so that's really dumb. But it happens. Yeah, see, see, like, okay, well, he just decided to do that instead, so that's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, Draco Meteor has more accuracy, I guess, so I'm gonna go for that. And now I go Vaporeon here. So that's why I kept Vaporeon over Titar, because Vaporeon can actually switch into um, Double Iron Bash without having to worry about getting too weak so that Magnezone comes in and does all kinds of stuff. Okay, so there you go that. Exactly. Nice. Now we just, uh, Scald this thing. Immediate Scald. And hopefully a burn here as well would be nice. If you please, good sir. Ooh, you burned this thing? That's kind of crazy how they went hard Kartana and forfeit. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful game one right there. So, Sandslash got a little damage, not really the, the game I was looking for. I'm looking for a Buzzwool. So if I can find a Buzzwool in this game, that would be fantastic. It would be really nice. Hopefully I uh, can do that. Just want to make use of that Aerial Ace, <laughs> if I somehow can. It's also really good versus Rillaboom. I think it 2-8 KOs it too. Um, Oko's at plus one, I'm fairly certain. Ah, well. You wish you get. <laughs> you wish for what you get. Not bad at all. Okay, so in this matchup, I lead Titar, and I go Corviknight to scout for the low kick, which they apparently don't have, so they do have knockoff. Good thing it's not paired with the Magnet Zone, so I'll take it. I'll defog here. As they're probably gonna go, okay, slow king, and in in comes slow king, we bring out a Titar. They trick us. Black Sludge. Okay, it's a good thing it's not Sand Slash. I'm gonna go uh, into this. Swords Dance up. It's time. It's time. It's time. Goodbye, Buzzle. <laughs> Goodbye. Yes! We did it. We actually did it. 
Oh, that's crazy. Now Sandslash actually kind of runs through the team, doesn't it? Ooh, that's wild. Let's get more chip on you so that we can make Sandslash put in more work. Just what you love to see. Just what you love to see. Let's go back into T-Tar here. Are you going to give me back my Smooth Rock? Yeah, that'd be kind of nice. Slush Bomb Poison, that's not good. Um, okay, so now we get to go into Vaporeon. And I think we just click Toxic here. And Wish is our play, so we could probably wish back a Corviknight. Oh, well, maybe not now. But they go into Slowking. We, I think, li yeah, we literally wish up uh, T-Tar now, I think. Nasty Plot. Oh, that's kind of nasty. Pex comes in. I don't like this uh, this sludge on, on me right now. I don't like the sludge very much. So I will get the Defog here, which is pretty nice. We get the Roost now. If they try to Scald Burn me, that's fine. I'm going to actually go Vaporeon here. They Toxic me, that's fine. If I had Heal Bell, that'd be nice. Maybe I could switch it. Maybe I could switch it. So I'm going Sand Slash now. Is they Nasty Plot up? Let's Sword Dance here. Oh, they stayed in. Okay, well, I didn't think they'd do that. I feel like we could have just knocked it out. And goodbye. So, one Mon, <laughs> another Mon. I, I should have just stayed in an Earthquake, but, um, you know, I thought they'd make the obvious switch. They decided to stay in, which was a really good play on their part. But now we don't have to worry about the, the Poison Mon, so that's good. We'll just wish up here. All we gotta do is make sure that uh, Draco's ult stays intact and we'll be good to go. So we'll definitely switch out here. Um, I think we just uh, Scald here to get more damage. Beautiful. This Mon almost gone now. And we just go this as they go into that. And uh, we body press now. This should not knock us out. That's gone. And now we win. So that's gonna be GG. So we got to see the uh, plus two. I think that's GG. I don't know. We'll see. Ah, Earthquake crits. Well, it's not over till it's over, I guess. I could stall it out of Earthquakes. I'm just so glad that the tech that we had for the uh, Sand Slash actually was amazing. It was actually amazing. Yep, get the defog here. Roost away. And now we wish into uh, Corviknight. Nice, nice. That's how we do it. Double Iron Bash is only two left. Super Power 2. Ooh. Now we can wish here and protect once to get back to a good amount of health and switch out. I'm interested to see how he has... Uh, Superpower and Earthquake. Usually they only run one of those. Yep. Now we get another Witch Protect. Oh, thank you for the heal. I appreciate that. I, don't, I really don't mind the burn either. Uh, I'm going to go T-Tar. Uh, let's finish this game up. I, I think I just go um, T-Tar then sack something. Like this. I could sack this Mon probably. Just to bring it in safely. Let me go this and win. Goodbye, and I think we should both be for safety. Yep, good game. Good game, good game. Um, that was really cool to see, though. The Buzzwell actually putting in the fine... Oh, sorry, the uh, Sandstar's putting in the work versus the Buzzwell. Absolutely fine work right there. Plus two, Aerial Ace knocking out Buzzwell was clean. Absolutely clean. So glad to have been able to uh, capture that in the video. On the second game itself, which was great. And on to the next... So hopefully another buzzle for game three. That'd be kind of nice, if possible. Um, ooh, threats on threats. This will be quite the game for us, but I think I lead Vaporeon, and I don't know what this set's going to do. My play will be to protect <laughs> and see what happens. So it could be Scarfed, it could be Banded. I want to see what they try to lock themselves into first. That's my uh, my number one priority right here is to see what happens. So they are going right for close combat. We're going to go Tapu Lele. They are Choice Banded, Choice Banded. So now what we do here is we go into a T-Tar. I, 
think because they go into Celestila. Another good inhale Lego, okay. So this is a crunch and a crunch. I don't mind this thing getting weakened. Zapdos is in, so maybe I keep sand around. I definitely think I keep sand around. And my place should be to definitely keep Drakers, I'll definitely keep Sand Slash. They're both very fast. Vaporeon is a good way to kind of check the Steela. Even though I think we'll be faster with Draco's Ult. Anyways, so we go Vaporeon. Let them close combat us. I think we just Scald here. Or we could Wish, but I think we Scald. Okay, cool. Now we go Draco's Ult. We have three turns to put in the finest of work. I think we first drop a Draco. That's fine. I'll take it. Zapdos being gone is great. And we just go into Corviknight here. Which worked out for us. And... Rave Bird or Double to Lele. I think Double to Lele is a good play because it covers the Swords Dance potential. In case they go for Swords Dance, it's not a bad play at all. They decide to... Rocks. Oh. Oh my. Let's get Sand up again. It's kind of safe. Kind of safe for us. Um, I think my play should be to go... Um, I think just go Tapu Lele here in Moonblast. Because hopefully they, hopefully they end up sacking this. It would be great. Because they were going to do it before. That would have been so nice. But unfortunately not. I just need to make the most use of all the sand turns that I have. And I keep Corviknight around for the Kartana. So now we go this. Boltbeak should be going first. Yep. Okay, that Mon being gone is great. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Kartana. Gets fire blasted. Ah, nice, 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 nice. Beautiful. So beautiful. Hmm. Cool. Well, good to know that it's, uh, you know, this move or this item. So I'll definitely defog here. And then we go into Sand Slash. Ah, nice. Iron Defense. So he's that set. So annoying though. Um, we would have knocked out Kartana. Still had sand left. Well, it's good to know that we're faster though. I don't think a stored power will knock us out. I think maybe what I have to do is earthquake twice. Yeah, that's doing a lot. <laughs> that's doing a lot. They stored power here though, but I think we just um I think we just So this was faster. My play should be to go Lele and Moonblast, I think is my play. Okay, good damage, and then we go Dracozolt, which I hope is faster, and a Bolt Beak is my play. Hopefully the speed difference by two will not make the difference here. Hopefully they're still slow. Yeah, nice. Good, good, good. Okay, cool. So... Because knockoff did that much, and we are at this much, by process of elimination, we just go for... See, this thing should be dead. This mon should be dead. We actually won this game. <laughs> and they crit. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so they hacks. It doesn't matter. We continue on. I'm already used to it, especially after the last episode from Home to the Top. I'm just used to the hacks by now. I do not care about hacks losses. Not one bit. Oh, Weather War. Oh, nice. You really, you're really trying to fight my Sand Slash, though? My Sand Slash? Nah, you can't be doing that. You can't be doing that out here. You turns out with the crit. Ah, immediate crit to start it off. I love it. But don't worry, I won't go insane in this video. That, I saved that one for the Drake video is when I went insane. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Let's change this weather up. 
And let's go into Corviknight. So we can defog. See these plays I'm making right here? I'm making the optimal switches of all time. Heatran, though, is going to be kind of an issue. We're going to go Vaporeon, which probably can tank any hit. Just go right for the wish here. Here's the Golandris. Um, I definitely just Scald here immediately. And goodbye to their weather. And now we win the weather. So the Giga Drain immediately, and now they probably can't touch Corviknight at all. So that is great. Let's body press here. Oh, they can touch Corviknight. Kind of. But not doing enough to knock me out, unless they click Growth or something. Back into Vaporeon we go. I need to pop a Balloon if I can. Oh, they toxic Well, I definitely Scald here. Okay. Let's go into you. And then let's double into you and Brave Bird. So goodbye to this Mun. Pretty good. Heatran is, of course, going to be a Heatran. Scald, 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 everything. Landers is in. Um, we just go Corviknight here. They do set up rocks. We will just Roost. I don't really mind the hazards too much because we just go Sand Slash and pretty much just win, I think. They can have this Mun. Uh, we go... Oops, I forgot. I need to defog. Oops, oops, oops. Forgot about that. But we pop this thing, which is great. How do I win this game now? I just have to go this and Focus Blast. And that's gone. And now I think we can win the game with Sand Slash. Yep. And then we just defog here. So we don't have to take any hazards on... Switching. Mm hmm. And we are also pressuring the U turns as well. A little mis miscalculation on my part. I was kind of caught or lost in the sauce, is the, is the saying. So we Stone Edge here. That is 22. So he's a defensive Landers. So let's defog. And then we double the, this thing. And Psychic. So that's like an AV Mel Metal of some sort. So Defog here. Reggie Lecky. I go this now. Then I click um, Psychic still here, I think, is my play either way. Thunder Punch. Ooh. Nice, nice. Let's just body press for some chip. Brave Bird for some chip. Defog here. I think if we Swords Dance up, we'll be okay. We'll be in a good spot. All right, nice. Let's go this and let's go Sand Slash here. And then we double. Now we Focus Blast here. Nice. Two hit KO'd. Two hit KO'd. O code. <laughs> That's crazy. Good game. Good game. Good game. Nice. 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 Okay. Bounce back there. Just a little bounce back for you all right there. And uh, we continue on. So Sandslash actually put in some fine work there blocking Regieleki. Cool to see. Nothing like the Buzzwell though, but you know, we got the Buzzwell game. That's all that matters. All that matters. Power is restored. To myself. Okay, uh, could maybe could be a Sand Slash game, I'm not sure. I mean, if this Kartana is Scarf, then probably not a Sand Slash game, but no harm in trying. Um, let's lead with this Mon and switch immediately into probably this. Yeah, that works. And then an easy Psy Shock here to knock this out. <laughs> Goodbye, Zero Aura. Goodbye. And farewell. So, I assume now this is probably Scarf or some other kind of set. Knock off my Shed Shell, I don't need it. Anyways, um, so my play here is to switch out into Dracozult. As Zapdos comes in, let's Bolt Beak here immediately. 
I don't know if they go Harlanders. They don't. So I get 69% of damage on it. Which I will gladly take. Um, so my plan now is to go Corviknight. Oh, sub? Sub SD? You're kind of scaring me there. You're are you're kind of scaring me for a second here. Oh no. All right, so I definitely just try to knock this out immediately as soon as possible. I think hmm. Lele is psychic. I don't know if it knocks it out from this range. I don't know. Sub SD Landers is probably offensive. Let me see. I don't usually calc. But on a turn like this, <laughs> I must. Lando. Swords Dance. Sub SD. Psychic. Psy Shock does that much, but Psychic does. 72 to 85.5 with Psychic Terrain. That's a little tough of a roll, I must, I must say. That's a little bit of a tough roll right there. Could be better to... I might have to sack Titar and then... Nah, you know... Out here, we make the rolls happen. Yeah, we always scare them out. So let's just do that. Why not? We definitely Draco here. Yeah, hit the landers. You already know. Nice. Nice. Good damage. I'll just do it again. Hit the Kartana as well. So now we go Corviknight. So now this landers is basically at 1%, so it really can't do much. Oh, he Swords Dance. Ooh. Oh, shoot. It's kind of an issue, right? If it's Speed Boost too? Well, gone. <laughs> Goodbye. And forfeit. Ah, not bad, not bad. We actually put in the finest of work. <laughs> that was actually crazy. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> ah, there's always some kind of balance in the force, right? We get hacked, it goes right around and gives us some nice fortune. I'll gladly take that. So now we have a team where Sandslash will only put in work if. We have Psychic Terrain up to block the uh, the stuff. Definitely lead Titar. Have to give a mana up here. We go Vaporeon and we die. Okay, cool. The Hax has come back around. I don't know if we get knocked out by that, but I'm pretty sure we could have lived potentially, but not sure. We go Draco's ult. We drop a Draco here. I definitely think we just drop a Draco. It should knock this out in theory. Stila's in, and he's definitely doubling to Chomp here, so we're going to go Sand Slash. And Swords ends up immediately. That's our play. Definitely the play. And now we can Earthquake here to knock out Guard Chomp in one hit. Let's go Sand Slash, though. Ooh, let's go Sand Slash. Uh, we go into Tapu Lele on the Ice Shard, block that move. You already know, putting in the work. And how do we not lose to Stila? I think we just Moonblast here either way. And then... Uh, what do we do? That Mew is going to be a problem. I think we just Moonblast again. Yeah, if they just Meteor Beam, maybe we get to Moonblast again. To knock this out, we get to keep Lele intact as well. So that's always, always nice. Um, Mew is in though, so we just go Titar here. They set up rocks. It's just regular rock set. We get the Sand up again too. These hazards are going to be quite annoying, of course. Um, Crawdon's in, so we have to sack Sand Slash. We then go into... Hmm. Corviknight can live. We defog. I think that's what we do. We have to get the defog off here. Swords doesn't matter, because we have the uh, terrain. This is fine. Let's body press this. Okay, that's fine. Now we get to go into a uh, Lele, block the the stuff. Moon Blast, here's the play. As we've all sacked, okay, I'll take it. And now we go into Titar. Unless they double, which could be a play on their part. They don't double. 
But that's fine, because now we get a fresh round of sand. Rock Blast is the play. That's gone. Then we Rock Blast here. The Crab Hammer, and we win. And that should be GG. We have our, still our second terrain up, so we just, uh... Yep. Can't do that. Nice, 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 nice. Excellent. Sandstrash put in a lot of work here, too. It o code the uh, Garchomp, which is what you love to see as well. And, um, yeah, I think that's a great place to end it off for this video. We actually put in a lot of work with our team, and um, I literally just made it and just, just started recording with it, so I did a few test games, but then I just started recording right after, so it, I think it really did well overall. We got to see what Sandslash can do, and it did exactly what I wanted it to in this video. Um, basically knocked out a Buzzle, utilized itself in the sand by knocking out things with Sandrush, and um, being an electric immunity that it was designed to be. So, yeah, with that being said, um, you know, leave a comment like I said before, let me know uh, any other kind of set that's that you really like that that counters um, or I, I guess that's designed to destroy one of its counters. That's kind of what Sandslash's role was in this video. To destroy Buzzle, which was the common switch in. If it's on a team, it's always switching into the ground type um, because it can sponge any hit, unless it has Aerial Ace. <laughs> but hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a uh, drop a like on this video. Streams coming soon, by the way. I'll be uh, doing more streams and stuff like that for. Uh, some nice showdown stuff, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.